I'm Vanessa Gorman. I am the only person pretty much who teaches ancient history here at UNL, which means I do all the Greek and Roman history. Um, I've done research in archaic and classical Greek history. I'm, I'm fundamentally a Greek historian. That's what I love the best. Um, but my second book was actually about the concept of how luxury causes you to be corrupted. Um, the whole rich man in the eye of the needle idea. And that was a collaborative project with my husband who's in the classics department here. And we've continued our collaboration and our marriage, amazingly enough. Um, in a digital project we work on now where we are doing grammatical analysis of Greek prose, ancient Greek prose, and he's taught himself some programming and we're using the computer to determine who wrote what. So we're doing authorship issues, but unlike everybody else, we're using the grammar of the sentences instead of the vocabulary or the, the, even the engrams or something like that. And according to someone who knows about this material, we're the only ones in the world doing this right now and getting crazy good results. Um, we're getting results with 50 word hunks that other people are getting using vocabulary with 2000 word hunks. So it's a really exciting project that involves just cutting new ground in the humanities. Um, as for teaching, I, t I teach all of the ancient Greek and Roman history, um, everything from the big survey of Rome, which is one of the biggest classes we have, to um, upper division classes on the Athenian democracy, the Roman Republic. Um, I'm teaching the capstone course, uh, um, which is about writing and writing a good project. I'm very much um, a writing fanatic. And so I, I believe that one of the best things you can learn as an undergraduate is how to write an effective argument um, that says what you think it says, says it well, and says it briefly and clearly. And so I spend a lot of time in my classes on short essays, just emphasizing the writing taking the primary sources, looking what the ancients really said instead of what other people say they said, and letting you learn to think for yourself about it. And so I, I, I think this is the best job in the world. I mean, I, I love my job and I love the fact that students respond so well to the ancient world and to what we can offer them about it. Okay, one of my goals in teaching is to reduce stress. I think that's one of the great things we can do as educators is reduce the stress of our students. And so I try to make all of my assignments repeatable. So if it's a paper, I want you to be able to rewrite it. In fact, I, I not only want to make it optional, I really want you to rewrite it because you learn by rewriting. And when it's, say, a multiple choice exam designed and keeping you honest about your facts, I'll let you take it three times. And when it's an essay exam, I can't really give you three chances because I'd be buried, but I'll, I set them up in the testing center so that you can write for two hours if you want to. You should never be rushed. You should know what's coming and be able to formulate your arguments clearly and effectively. And I, that's what I want to do. I want to give students a chance to shine. And so, what people say about me is if you don't want to come to class, it's not a good class to take. But if you want to come to class and if you're willing to put the effort into it, I'll put the effort into it too. And you can do really, really well in my class if it's something that you make a priority.